Welcome back to our astronomy podcast, Beyond the Stars. Be sure to like, subscribe, and donate to our Patreon. Today, we are joined with NASA Mars Space Program Coordinator, Kyle Carey. And University of Virginia Professor, William Orr. Hello, everybody. To talk about the benefits of silicon on Mars. Thank you for having us. So, could you please give us some detail on what silicon is? Silicon is a metalloid with an atomic number of 14, which is how many protons it has. It has an atomic mass of around 28.086 AMU, has a melting point of 1,687 Kelvin, a boiling point of 3,538 Kelvin, a density of 2.3296 grams per centimeter cubed, and it is a solid. It's usually used in computers, ceramics, glass, and construction materials like brick and concrete. So is silicon uh, rare or is it like hard to find? Not at all. It makes up 27.7% of the Earth's crust, making it the second most common element in the crust. And it is the seventh most common element in, get this, the universe. Wow, that's cool. So will the silicon be brought from Earth, or will it be found on Mars? So even though you can find silicon on Earth, it is pretty common also, we're going to find it on Mars because the poles on Mars are very silicon rich. So we're going to send rovers out to collect it. So will the silicon be used by itself, or it will, be, will it be used like with other elements? The silicon will be combined with other elements to form compounds that can be used in the mission. So uh, what, what are some of these compounds that can be formed? The compounds will be silicon, potassium silicate, and silica. Silica will be gathered from the rovers on Mars. So what will each compound do and like how is it formed? The silica on Mars will be combined chemically with other elements to make plant silica. The plant silica will be used with plants growing in the space station. The plant silica can help with the quality of plants and foods grown there by doing a number of things like strengthening the plant, making it grow faster, adding it more resistant against environmental stress, and more. As silica is sand, the sand can be combined with other soils to make sandy soil and loamy soil. These soils help with growing plants and foods. So what is uh, silica made of? Silica is made of silicon, silicon and oxygen. The chemical equation is SiO2. So what are some of the other compounds that you mentioned? Silicon is a compound that can be used to seal, repair, and make storage containers. Silicone will be used for it is water and air resistant. So how effective is uh, silicone in sealing containers? So my, a recent study conducted by my colleagues and I, the element researchers, uh, we, we uh, took a container, right, and we sealed it with silicone putty, but before we submerged it in water. And when we submerged it in water, 225 milliliters got into the container. After that, we sealed it with silicone putty, and only one or less milliliter got in. Oh, that's cool. So how is silicone formed? <laughs> silicone is a man-made material where manufacturers take quartz or silicon dioxide, which is silica, and separate the silicon from the oxygen. So how about the last compound? Was it uh, potassium silicate? Yes. This compound of silicon is used as a fertilizer. It helps plants grow in harsh environments as it strengthens the plants and makes it resistant to drought and molting. So I'm guessing it's formed from silicon and potassium? Yes. Two potassium atoms and three silicon atoms make it up. So will the plants be grown on Mars? No. The plants will be grown in the space station. Oh, so this all sounds great, but there are, are there any disadvantages to any of these um, materials? The other chemicals and elements that we need take up space, which means that we won't be able to bring much of the other things. Also, it will take time to find silicon, meaning it will be cost fuel and money to fund the rovers. Despite all this, silicon is a necessary part of the, co the space colonization mission in Mars as it will lead to prosperity and an easier mission for the colonizers and everyone else. It looks like this is all the time we have. Um, thank you for agreeing to join us. It has been a pleasure. Thank you. Bye, guys. See you Bye. later. Yep. Join us next time as we talk about NASA discovering aliens in Saturn. Be sure to support us, and with that being said, we will see you next week on Beyond the Stars.